Comment time! Dark-minded Sith writes, uh, uh, So, will Pluto be making its own Twitter? Not Mickey's dog? Colon P. That's not a bad idea, DMS, but we need to send him a computer first. First, we should construct a satellite. Now, I don't know if you guys have any satellite names in mind, but if the time comes to vote, I'm in for calling it Superfoot. This satellite, of course, needs to be loaded down with an absurd amount of internet service beacons that get, can drop along the way as it goes to Pluto to keep the signal strong. Our satellite also needs to house a computer of some sort, so I'm thinking we should send him some fancy like an Alienware. And if we're sending him an Alienware, we might as well send him some games to help him pass the time out there. So let's figure out cost. Alright, hiring engineers, scientists, astronomers to instruct us of our satellite's trajectory, permit for launching things into orbit, rocket fuel, rockets, materials for making the satellite, all comes to... Yeesh, maybe we shouldn't get him the Alienware. And assuming we could afford it, the time it would take to construct such a satellite would take one year at the very least. And with all of our current technology taken into consideration, our satellite Superfoot would reach Pluto in roughly nine and a half years. So, let me get back to you on that one. Good afternoon, butt kickers. It's March 14, the 73rd day of 2011, which means it's Pi Day. Not the dessert, the mathematical constant. And here's why. Man, I can't wait for 2015, and then five digits of pi will be represented in the date. This is, of course, not to be confused with Pi Approximation Day, which is celebrated on July 22nd, because 22 over 7 is a common fractional approximation of pi. Pi Day was established in 1989, excellent year, by the way, and it is generally celebrated by consuming large quantities of pi, not the mathematical constant, the dessert, and reciting digits of pi, not the dessert, the mathematical constant. For those of you who didn't know, pi is the number you get when you divide the circumference of a circle by its diameter. It's an irrational number, and it's always the same. Irrationality refers to the fact that pi's decimal digits never end, and there is no rhyme or reason to its never-ending decimal digits. In other words, it cannot be accurately expressed as a fraction. Some people turn pi's irrationality into a highly distorted interpretation of fun, and they memorize digits and recite digits. As a matter of fact, at the official Pi Day 2004 celebration, high-functioning autistic savant Daniel Tammet recited 22,514 digits of pi. Eat your heart out, bro. For those of you who didn't know, which is probably most of you, my brother can recite pi up to 65 digits. In entirely unrelated news, today is one month after Valentine's Day, and there are many variations of what to call this holiday, one of which I will not mention, but in Japan and Korea, it's called White Day. Valentine's Day in Japan and Korea is totally backwards to the way it is here. The girl gets the guy a gift. Hear that? That was the simultaneous cry of hundreds of men wishing they lived in Japan or Korea. But don't pack your bags yet, guys, because today, White Day is a holiday of one-upmanship, wherein the guy gets the girl a gift that is traditionally triple the value of what her gift was for him on V-Day. Just be thankful, guys, that there aren't actual tangible standards for how much you should spend for your V-Day present in the good old U.S. of A. Otherwise, I have a creeping feeling that a good number of you would be, in one way or another, screwed. There's also Black Day in Korea, which celebrates singles. They call it Black Day. Why don't they just call it, you're alone and you'll always be alone, so why not just end it all today, day? Maybe Pi Day was created to get math nerds' minds off of Black Day. It's just a theory. I mean, I'm not trying to insinuate anything about math nerds. <laughs> I mean, it's just a theory. To all you other males out there with a significant other, Enjoy your steaks. Until tomorrow, I'm Griff, and I'm still talking. Permit for launching things into orbit. Rocket fuel.